Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan, as ever, I am the IT Geek. Welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Cloud VDI series. We are on the penultimate episode, so that means uh, the, the one more episode after this. Uh, we're going to focus about talk about security guidelines. We've, we've, we've talked about or shown security baselines already, but I want to talk about security guidelines in general when it comes to Windows 365, because uh, it's a very important aspect of it as well. Um, so without further ado, let's get started with this episode. Um, so this is the Microsoft Cloud VDI series, as I mentioned, um, and this is the part one of the Windows 365 security baselines topic. And we're going to talk about control access policies, talk about Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, talk about Intune compliance policies, and we're going to do a demo of Defender for Endpoint integration. Um, so apply, you should apply conditional access policies to control the devices and applications uh, that can connect to your email and company resources. Make sure you use conditional access policy and conditional access to secure access to uh, user access to Windows 365. Specifically, you should really consider using Entra MFA um, to authenticate users as well. And, I, and I'll go a step further, not consider it. You, sh you have to use it. You should use it. It should be default. shouldn't be any sort of um, query around that. Um, it's a must. Um, let's talk about Defender for Endpoint. We are going to jump into Defender for Endpoint port shortly. Um, but um, you can use Defender for Endpoint to identify threats and set devices as non-compliant. You can easily connect Microsoft Defender for Endpoint to Cloud PC devices, apply device compliance policies as well to Cloud PCs, and use conditional access to identify any sort of threats as well. And again, I would, I would say this is a must as well, to, especially from a security perspective, to be able to manage it through Defender for Endpoint. Uh, I mean, it's the whole point of using Windows VCT for something like Cloud PC or Microsoft Cloud VDI, so you can integrate it with all these cool Microsoft Cloud, Azure Cloud sort of services and solutions. Um, and then before we jump into the demo, a little bit about Intune as well. So make sure you use Intune compliance policies with conditional access policies for Cloud PCs. These policies are going to help you identify non-compliant devices and, and, and users that are non-compliant as well. So. Essentially, you can, you can block their access to corporate resources until that device risk is lowered to what user and organization deem appropriate. Um, so that's quite powerful, being able to block access. Uh, and again, you, you manage copies through Intune anyway. So it makes sense to use, uh, use these sort of compliance policies through that as well. Okay, let's jump into the demo now. We're going to go into the security um, admin center and have a look at uh, Defender for Endpoint. So please join me in the demo. Well, welcome back to the demo and we are actually in the Microsoft Defender portal and we'll look at Defender for Endpoint. Um, so quickly, for those that aren't familiar, you can onboard um, VDI specific devices if you go to settings uh, and then if you go to the Endpoint area and right at the bottom, or not towards the bottom, towards the bottom you've got onboarding here. And you can select obviously the OS which is Windows 10 and 11. You need to make sure you've done an onboarding of a different device already, it doesn't have to be VDI. Uh, and then you've got a deployment method and you've got VDI onboarding scripts here. And essentially you can either uh, manually deploy this or, or, or automate it. I manually deploy this to my uh, Windows uh, 365 Cloud PC. And then what will happen is that will, uh, once you run the test, run that and then run the test below here. The section test which I completed. If you go to the, um, the endpoint device specifically, you will see the device inventory, you'll see the devices in here. So there's my CPC, um, Shaba TFYBM, which is what you've seen in the previous episode, that's what it's called. No, no smoke and mirrors here. This is where you can start managing it, looking at it, doing an overview, look at sort of alerts, look at timeline, look at security policies, and you can also start to deploy the different policies as well. So when you create a, a sort of a, a policy around an identity or you create an endpoint policy here and you create a vulnerability management policy any, any sort of stuff where you do here you can you can start to um, look, we can create one from here if you want to just also create a new policy here deploy it to our windows 365 cloud pc um, so you need to make sure you onboard it first that's the key bit onboarding it in the settings and once you've onboarded it you can then go to um, the actual device inventory and that's where you can start to manage it and deploy all sorts of security policies that we've spoken about already and make sure it stays compliant as well. Okay, so that's the end of that demo. That's going to be the last demo in this part of the topic of Windows 365. We've got one last episode of Windows 365 where we're going to finish off the security guidelines topic. So um, drop me a, a comment in the video um, with some of your kind of security guidelines that you've kind of deployed 
um, to your Windows 365 and let me know what you think. And also make sure you smash that subscribe button. I'm aiming for 50k before the end of the year. Uh, I'm roughly about 30 at the moment, maybe around, it might be over 30 by the time. When this is recorded, I'm under 30. By the time this is recorded, I might be over 30, who knows. Um, so thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.